Hi everybody, Alex the Big Boy Very Global, PR and Communications Manager, uh, reporting exclusively for VG247. And we're giving you guys a bit of a sneak preview at our brand new Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier range. A uh, product that we're looking at right now is our brand new, let me hold that up for the camera there, the Ghost Recon Future Soldier uh, Triton 7.1 surround sound headset. This is an incredible audio experience that's been designed uh, to tie in with a forthcoming game from Ubisoft. Uh, we worked on this headset alongside our friends at Ubisoft and it really is an incredible headset. It uses Dolby headphone technology to give you guys uh, a virtual 7.1 surround sound audio experience. What's great about the headset is that it'll work with movies, it'll work with music and of course it'll work with gaming. Now the headset is multi-format compatible, meaning it's just as at home on PS3 as it is with Xbox 360. You can see the really cool design quality, it really is built to last. Very comfortable uh, ear cups as well, designed to sit over the ear and really immerse you in all of the uh, audio that your game is producing. Around the side here, you see we've got the really cool illuminated ear cups that look really great when you're playing in a darkened environment. And uh, it's got a little cool inline remote control. Let me just hold that up for the camera here as well. So the inline remote control actually breaks away for safety reasons as well. And uh, we've got the Tom Clancy Ghost Recon inline remote that allows you to, uh, to mute your microphone. Uh, you can separately adjust your audio volume for the game along with your chat volume. And you can also use it to initiate SVM. And SVM stands for Selectable Voice Monitoring. When you're using Selectable Voice Monitoring, that feature allows gamers to switch on or off the sound of their own voice so you can choose to hear yourself speak through the headset uh, when you're playing on Xbox Live. Some gamers like to hear the sound of their own voice, some don't. With our headset, we give gamers the choice. Uh, this is the little uh, audio receiver unit that sits on top of your console. You can store it in a vertical or a horizontal position. Uh, again, it feeds off the, uh, the USB and the digital optical outputs from your Xbox 360 or your PS3. Uh, again, 7.1 surround sound. Uh, you've got different settings for movies, for music, and for listening to audio. So it's just as at home if you're watching a movie on your 360 or your PS3 as it is when you're playing online. The brand new Ghost Recon Future Soldiers 7.1 surround sound headset. Incredible sound, 50 millimeter neodymium drivers, amazing bass response designed uh, to really accompany the uh, forthcoming game from Ubisoft and this is shipping just about now. Goes fantastically alongside, let me show you guys this, brand new range of controllers that we've also got uh, to commemorate the launch of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Uh, this is the uh, PS3 version of the controller. We also have the Xbox 360 version, which I'm gonna hold up here as well. So two different controllers, one for 360, one for PS3. Uh, they both feature the, uh, the illuminated analog thumbsticks. I don't know if your camera can pick that up, but you can actually choose to switch on or off the LED lighting. It's a really beautiful controller. It's got the combat grips on the side. It's got the really cool soft touch finish on the front of the controller itself. Feels really sturdy. Uh, the PS3 version is completely wireless. The Xbox 360 version is wired. Uh, the PS3 version features a rechargeable lithium ion battery. But the unique part of both controllers on the Xbox 360 and the PS3 ones is if you switch around the rear, you can see that they've got these additional combat buttons. Uh, now we designed these uh, in conjunction with the programming team behind Ghost Recon Future Soldier, and the combat buttons map certain features that you normally find on the action buttons at the front of the controller and remap them to the rear of the controller so you can use these buttons to pull off the same moves should you wish. Now you can see underneath each combat button, you've got a little switch here, now, for instance, if I've got this switch uh, set to the far right position, if I press combat button one, that's going to replicate the right movement on the D-pad. So that's going to replicate that movement on the D-pad. And the whole idea of the combat buttons is it allows you to press buttons uh, using your, your fingers on the rear of the joypad, meaning you don't have to take your thumbs away from the analog thumbsticks at any one time. So with a regular controller, you've got to take your thumbs away from the thumbstick to hit the action buttons or the D-pad. Now with the rear combat buttons, you don't. You can simply use your middle fingers uh, to pull off those actions along the rear of the controller. So the brand new Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Future Soldier game pads, they're uh, shipping right now on Xbox 360 and PS3. Fantastic, not only for Future Soldier, but of course on all PS3 and 360 titles. Incredible controller, only for Mad Cat. So that's a brief look at some of the products we've got here at the Gadget Show. Check out more information at madcats.com and thanks for tuning in to VG247.